friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Code. You guys, today, first, let me back up. I truly apologize for my absence. I've had a couple of things going on. If you follow me on Instagram, um, found that I had arthritis in my neck. I was down for about a week from that. I was recovering from a cold prior to that. And now I got a sign and something going on again. And also my brother has ALS and I've been taking off some time and going to see him in North Carolina. So it's like a day trip for me. So nonetheless, all the excuses and actual life things happening aside, um, I'm back. But I wanted to come back with something that you could use. So um, I'm not for sure if you guys remember these PVC cards that I, I don't know if I hauled them or told you about. Well, we'll be using those today. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. We're talking about today how to meal plan and meal plan easy so that you can take it in and out of your planner, whether you are a functional planner, a decorative planner, or a minimal planner. However, um, if you're a minimal planner and you just like the aesthetic of the neutral colors, these are from cloth and paper. They will work for you. If you're on a budget, I got these from Target. Um, they're less than $3. And if you want a little more color in your planner, these will work for you. I also found some similar to these in the Dollar Tree. So again, they're colorful and I think you get about 10 colors. The colors are very similar to this. I think they even have a red. And um, let me make sure y'all can see. Yeah. Um, so again, those are only a dollar <clears throat> and you get more. And then these are from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I just use this little swap tab here. You can use something like this. Um, now, it's, it'll be up to you if you want to write on them. Over here, I have my label maker. This is a brother. I don't think they sell this anymore. I've had this when I used to do makeup and I labeled um, my foundations, products, and things of that sort. But to make it easy, I'll later probably go back and label with my label, but to make it, sorry about that, you guys. So what we're gonna do now, I will say this, I got this idea from the fly lady, one of her systems, and what she does is she asks you to ask your family members, depending on how many you have, let's say you're a single mom with three kids, ask all your kids their favorite food that they like for you to cook, that they like of yours, and give each of them a sticky note, and they will write down their favorite food. Food, excuse me, sp uh, why am I sorry? <laughs> Spaghetti, uh, steak, um, uh, ravioli, or whatever. And tell them just list about three to four a piece that they like. If you're a family of four, let's say a mom, dad, two kids like myself, um, you can ask them again. You get your husband, boyfriends, whatever, um, spouse, mate, and your kids' ideas and hand them each a sticky note. Well, I tried that. My kids like, mom, you know, we like, uh, uh, I think maybe my daughter participated. So after that, I'm like, I kind of know what they like. So you can write them down yourself. If your kids are just too busy, on the go, your husband, mate, spouse, whatever, just write down what you know they like, what they always request of you. So I'm going to just do, um, and if you want, you can just color code for dinner, especially. So let's say you want dinners to be this color. You want um, lunches to be that color. So, or if we're using this one, but any sticky tab will do. To save time, I'm just gonna write. So for my family, uh, I'm gonna use between these two here. My family, my daughter, she's not here during pretty much the winter months. She's at school. She does come home for Christmas break or winter break. So she's here for about three weeks. And I just incorporate her stuff then. But I also incorporate it during the week when she isn't here because it's something that everybody likes. So the number one thing that I make that everybody likes is I just made it yesterday, day before you lemon pepper, wings, and rice. Now, what I always do, I'll pair it with um veggie so sometimes i don't have to write down that it's going with the veggie it's just the automatic we know it's going with a veggie 
So I'm going to stick that there on my clear um, PVC card. And then the next thing is um, my husband, he likes um, pork chops in the air fryer. So air fryer pork chops. And I don't have to add, this is just like a main meat. Then I can do um, rice, veggies. I normally figure out the side later, just as long as I have that meat. But for you, like if you know the whole meal, so you may need a bigger sticky. But for me, I'm just more concerned with the main meat because of, we know it's going to be a veggie and a starch. That's how I pretty much cook meals around here. Sometimes, to be honest with you guys, I just cook the meat, tell them fend for themselves. <laughs> I may throw some fries in the air fryer, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm busy. So I just do what works for me. You do what works for you, okay? So that's one of the meals we make. And like now today I'm cooking. That's what prompted me to make this video is because I'm doing a crock pot roast. And then my husband likes these mashed potatoes. We found out about these mashed potatoes around Christmas time at his aunt's house by, um, not Billy Dean, Willie, Jimmy Dean, but uh, gosh, Bob Evans. So pot rose, mashed potatoes, and then I'll do a veggie. Now, if you use a labeler you may can get it smaller so and then it'll look neater and i'm gonna show you how this works so let me think of something else my son he likes my he has a couple of things that he likes he's a growing teenager so he likes a lot of stuff but and he's a picky eater so it's a lot when he likes something special but he likes chicken parmesan when i make chicken parmesan and with the chicken parm, sometimes I'll do um, garlic bread. And that's it for myself. I may do a salad because we all eat different types of lettuce. And I started kind of doing this, well, kind of in the top of my head with what everyone likes because these are things that we all like. We all have different tastes. And at one point, like when I'm working out eating right, nobody eats my food. I have to make a separate meal. So these are things that I can incorporate that we all like. And even if I'm working out, I can probably just have the lemon pepper and maybe some make a cauliflower rice in the microwave for myself. Um, I can have the air fryer pork chops, cauliflower rice for myself. So I don't have to do too much tweaking. So this works for me. And so again, it's four of us. Um, so I'm gonna do enough for at least five days. I don't cook five days but I want to get in the habit of at least doing five out of seven and then with maybe some leftovers. So we have chicken parmesan, crock pot roast. We have the crock pot roast. And also I try to utilize my crock pot as much as possible. I have a steak crock pot. What's the crock pot steak? Oh my God. Steak in the crock pot. It is not like a expensive steak. It's one of those little in between medium steaks, I don't know what it's called. It's not a flank steak, but um, it's like a chuck, but it's a little thinner. And um, I put that in the crock pot. I can throw maybe some canned um, potatoes. I'll rinse them off, throw them in there, season everything, and then do a veggie on the side. That's very, very quick. Crock pot steak. And what's something I haven't made in a while, but everybody likes. I'm not saying that I don't like it. It's just that... I don't know what, I haven't figured out what goes with it, so I don't cook it, and I'm not really gonna put it on my list, is the cracked chicken. My family loves it. Um, I like it cold on some bread, but they like it. I make veggies and stuff with it, you know, just the normal, but it just don't seem to flow, so I don't really cook that. Um, I like to do like jerk wings in the air fryer. And you can have as many of these cards as you like. Find somewhere to put them. I'm going to get one more. Again, my Amazon store will be in the description box. So, so far we have lemon pepper wings, um, air fryer pork chops, crock pot roast, chicken parm with garlic bread, steak crock pot, um, jerk wings in the air fryer. 
there's something else, but I'm gonna leave it at this so that this video doesn't be long. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's, so now what you'll do is you can take your PVC card. I'm again gonna go back and put it on the label, but I just wanted to show you guys a really quick way if you don't have one. Please don't go out and purchase a label just to do this, not unless you need it for other things. Try to catch them on sale. And as you can see, I have one for my weekly income. So this is where I'll keep those things. So I can just put it right here. It's secure, so when it's time to plan for the week, you might wanna make a duplicate because here's a couple ways you can do it. So you can go in, if you have a duplicate of these, you can put them in your calendar this way. They're pretty big, but that way you know what you had that month if you're duplicating anything. So that's a good way. My way, I'm gonna show you. I just kind of put them here, you see here? Today's Thursday the 20th, we're having the crock pot roast and veggies. So I take one off, that goes there. And I can take it off because what I found I was doing, so here I ate out yesterday and that's another tab you can put um, take out on. Um, here, I put the crock pot roast um, and veggies, and I didn't have that. We actually had the lemon pepper wings that day. So, I don't like to write it in. I want to be able to take it up, because some days I'll have dinner. So, here, this is what I had with some um, chicken from the grocery store and some salad and vegetables here. So, that way, you can just take it off. You can leave it on there. When you take your inserts out, take it up, put it back because I only keep a few of these in here. So that way when I'm done with them, I can still reuse this even though I can't use the page, I can still reuse my menu. And then if you want to color code, but this to me is the best way, you can just take it out and stick it on there. And if you're a weekly person again, if you have like a weekly, let me show you my weekly another good way to do it if you don't want to put it on that tiny calendar. I'm a personal girl, I love my personal, so I won't be putting it on the month, but I can still go back and see. So let's say Monday, we had lemon pepper wings. I can stick it there. Air fryer pork chops. Let's say we had that Saturday, which I don't pretty much cook on Saturday. I'm about to start, but I pretty much don't. And then here. And let's just say for takeout, I put takeout here, which was last night, Wednesday, I had takeout, sort of go there. And then I can just kind of stick that on the back, however you want to do it. But to me, this works. And the way that the fly lady does it is in the command center. She has it on calendar at your command center. I bought the, I have a full calendar. I haven't updated for this year, but I tried that. So that way also your family can see. So if you have a command center calendar, you can just do as many of these as you want. Again, if you want them to be neat and tidy, put it on label labels. Then your family can see what is going to be for dinner that day. They can look at the calendar at the command center. No one was really using mine except for my husband. He'll look at it and he'll say, oh, so we having um, chicken parmesan night, but the kids wouldn't look. So I just stopped using it. So this is a good way also. Put it on your command center. So if there's something special the kids want, they can peel off and say, hey, on Wednesday, I would like to have my favorite. You can color code for each child, each person. Um, again, it's just for me. I'm the only one to do the cooking in the house right now. So this works for me. And again, I don't need the command center um, calendar because no one was using it. Like we'll put down if my son had a game, but a lot of times we don't find out about his game to the last minute. But meals, it was just something, you know, which I'm gonna probably go back to the command center calendar because a lot of times my husband will call and ask, um, did you cook? And, or text me and I'll be like, it don't drive me crazy, but I'm just like, you know my days that I work late. So that way he can see that we'll be having this on that day. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I hope I made it pretty clear. So today is the 20th and we're having a crock pot roast.
and mashed potatoes. So, again, I hope that was helpful. I've lost one somewhere. I'll pick it up. And you guys enjoyed and you learned something. Uh, let me know how do you meal plan. What's your system? What works best for you? And I'll see you all in my next video. If this is your first time watching a video of mine and you enjoy today's content, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.